welcome to my lecture session in today's lecture session we will discuss the concept of cost we will also discuss the traditional theory of cost and uh, modern theory of cost so for easy and precise lecture sessions do like share and subscribe my channel as we know that cost is defined as the total expenses which are faced by a business firm in process of production and supply of goods and services to the consumers cost function is a mathematical relation between cost and the output it tells how the cost change in response to changes in the output so the cost function is an important aspect of each business it enables the determination of cost efficiency of production process based on the cost function pricing of the products is decided the firms are able to identify various cost saving opportunities by studying the cost function the traditional theory of cost analyzes the behavior of cost curves over the short run and the long run both the short run and long run cost curves are u shaped but the long run cost curves are flatter than the short run cost curves in case of uh, short run cost the total cost uh, is uh, combination of uh, the total fixed cost and the total variable cost whereas in case of uh, long run cost curves there are no fixed factors of production or uh, we can say that all the factors are variable so the traditional theory of cost is uh, shown in these two figures next comes the modern theory of cost so this theory states that the firm can produce a range of outputs and not a single level of output as under traditional theory the short run cost curve in this case is a saucer shaped whereas the long run average cost curve is either l shaped or we can say it is inverse j shaped curve we will study the modern theory of short run cost curves and modern theory of long run cost curves so in case of short run cost curves the curves are saucer type shape rather than u shaped as the afc is rectangular hyperbola and the sac curve has a u shaped so the figure uh, a shows the short run cost curves next comes the long run cost curves so it is l shaped due to production and manager cost so the figure b shows the long run cost curves in case of modern theory of cost now let's also discuss how the modern theory of cost differs from the traditional one so in case of traditional theory of cost both the short run and the long run cost curves are u shaped whereas uh, in case of modern theory of cost the short run cost curves are saucer shaped and the long run average cost curves are l shaped then as per the modern theory of cost the firms can produce a range of output at a very low cost the modern theory also emphasizes on economies of scale so these are the basic differences between the traditional theory of cost and the modern theory of cost so this was all in today's uh, brief lec lecture session in which we discussed the concept of cost thank you